Hello, traders and investors. This is Price Headley, founder of BigTrends.com. Excited to be with you. So I had a request to talk about a strategy for recessionary times, and I've got one for you here. It's credit spreads. We're going to walk you through how credit spreads work, how you can start cash flowing the markets, regardless of economic conditions, to take advantage of the ups and the downs in the economy and the market. Just a reminder as we get started that everything I share with you here today is for your information and education only. Uh, it's based on our proprietary research that's intended for illustrative purposes only. This should not be considered specific advisory recommendations. Stock and options trading have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. So do see our terms of use on our bigtrends.com homepage for more information. So with that behind us, if you don't know me, I've been trading for over 32 years, uh, launched Big Trends back in 1999, blessed to be inducted into the Traders Hall of Fame uh, with a lot of trading giants. So uh, I've looked at this as a way for you to learn from my several decades of experience and uh, and help take you to a higher level in your trading and investing activity. Uh, our whole goal is to focus on uh, data, uh, time-tested research data that gives us an edge over uh, a, a large sample of trades. So what I'm going to share with you today is this credit spread strategy, which resulted in an 82 and a third percent win rate looking over uh, look back of 12 months. And we're going to show you actually not one, but two different strategies that you can use, both a momentum trend following strategy, as well as a reversal signal, even in recessionary times. You know, we've had the, the data now, if, you, if you're debating whether we're in a recession, technically we are because of the two quarters in a row of negative GDP, that's gross domestic product uh, growth. That's essentially the whole economy in the U.S. And so, okay, we're going to show you how you can also access uh, these top two credit spread strategies with a credit spread bundle at the end of the presentation. Is it really possible to win on over 80% of your trades? Yes, we've shown that we've done it. Uh, here's, in fact, how we did it. Knowing that past performance doesn't guarantee future results, Part of the objective is that you don't want to target too big of a gain. With this strategy, we're targeting a 25% return uh, typically on a, on a trade that we put out. Some of those um, can be a little bit bigger, some can be smaller, or some can be losses. You can see actually that out of 51 trades, we had 42 profits, 9 losses. That resulted in an 82.35% win rate. Uh, these results are before commissions, uh, so you have to factor commissions into your trading but bottom line is that, you know, these days commissions have come down to next to nothing. So you can see this is closed trades over a one-year look-back period here. So, again, the past performance won't guarantee the future. Uh, we like to think we're getting better all the time, but there will be losing trades. And the, part of the secret is managing your risk when it's not working uh, the roughly uh, one out of five times versus the four out of five that do, give or take. Uh, now, you see what is the profit result uh, as we look back. Uh, on this example, on a $5,000 account, you could have turned that into over $10,000. You could have doubled your money, 101% gain, $5,061 gross profit, adding up all winners and losers before commissions. And, and that also results in not over trading. You don't trade your whole account on any one trade. We, we are very conservative in making sure that you keep a vast majority of your capital in cash while you're getting one or two of these trades working for you at a time. Let's talk about what credit spreads are if you don't know the concept. The basic principle here is that you've got a stock at, say, 47 bucks in this example, okay? And so we're saying, okay, most people think if, you, if you're bullish, you buy a call and you hope that it goes up. If it stays flat or goes against you, you lose. This strategy, you flip the script. You actually say now your goal has changed. Instead of having to have the stock move big for you, your goal is now to not have the stock move dramatically against you. So actually, a flat scenario actually makes you money. In this example, you can see at expiration, if you sell the 45 put and buy a further below, in this case, a 40 put, you get your max profit of $200 in this example per contract that this is done if we finish at $45 or higher. So think about it. We're at 47. It doesn't move at all. You make your money. It, it goes down two points against you, about 4.5% against 
at expiration, you still make your maximum profit of $200 gain per contract. Now you can see the risk is if you're really wrong and it tanks down to 40 or less in this example, you could lose $300 per contract. Why would we do a strategy where you could lose more than you can make? Because that's rare and you, we have plans to cut and run. You can see our break even at expiration in this example is 43 bucks. Anything under 43 bucks, we should be cutting and running before it gets down to 40 bucks. Unless you get a big gap, which of course is something you want to not have gap risk uh, dramatically impact you. So we don't recommend this strategy for things like earnings where the gaps could cause you a big problem the next morning when you walk into a trade. We wanna be able to uh, adjust and we send out real-time email and text alerts how to get in and more importantly, get out when needed. So the goal here is that buying that cheaper option allows us to be protected. That's your insurance that covers you in case of that worst case uh, type of a move starting to develop. But you can see that's fairly rare and most of the time you're gonna be in a position to take steady money out of the strategy, cut and run the few times where it starts to move dramatically against. So a put credit spread means we're actually neutral to bullish. We're selling an out of the money put, buying a cheaper put. In this case on the S&P 500, the SPY. This is one of the most liquid vehicles out there. Our, our system, which you learn when you become a subscriber is based on an oscillator that was telling us we're coming out of an oversold condition at the close of that particular 30 minute bar. These are trade station charts. You don't have to have any set charting platform. We call out the trades to your email and text to your smartphone. But we're saying here when the, when the spy is trading in the neighborhood of about 367, we're selling the 357 put about 10 points below the market. Then we're buying the 356 put simultaneously. That's a one point or hundred dollars a contract max risk. We're collecting 20 bucks. So your net risk is 80 bucks. 20 over 80, of course, is your 25% return potential on that trade. We actually shut it down early when it popped back up. And we said, okay, exit out here the next day on the pop up. And we cashed it in and made essentially 80% of our max profit. We collected 20 cents. We bought it back in for four cents. So we made 16 bucks a contract. In a typical trade on these, we might do on, let's say, a thousand bucks of, of max risk capital. You'd get in the neighborhood of about 12 contracts. So you'd be taking in uh, just in the neighborhood of a, a, about a, almost $200, maybe $180 profit after commission uh, on that trade. That's a 20% return for less than 24 hours of uh, work. So you say, okay, it's two days. So it's not a day trade, but bottom line is that we're about looking to lock in those kind of quick profits when we get the opportunity. And that's on every 12 contracts. You could trade more, of course, as you grow your confidence. That's on the way up. What if you think a stock or an ETF is gonna drop? Now we do the call credit spread. Now we're betting flat to down, neutral to bearish. In this example, the stock's trading, you see at 33 and a half on the green arrow here. And we're saying, we don't think it's going up past 35. So you sell the 35 call, you buy a further out of the money call. In this case, the 40 call is the example on the chart. We're still collecting in that plus $200 of credit up front. That's one of the great things about this strategy is you get paid up front. Now your goal is just to hang on to it. Kind of like the insurance company that insures your house or your car. That basically, you're saying, look, they don't they don't give you your money back if, you're, if your uh, car doesn't have an accident. They pocket that for taking on that risk. We're limiting our risk because we're buying that other option to protect ourselves in case that really adverse move happens. So don't do this on earnings or takeover stocks. It could gap way up. Just do it where you think the stock's at a short-term high. So here's a call credit spread example from our index options timer service on the SPY again, where we were saying, look, we're coming out of our overbought mode on this oscillator here. So we're actually betting on the downside right here. Now notice what's great about this example is that we were in the neighborhood of about just around 412, maybe a hair over, and we were selling a 420 call, about eight points above. Uh, once it gets over 420, that's where you start to get concerned, like, am I gonna see this thing expire? We want these credit spreads, by the way, to expire at no value or take them out where we can have cashed them in at a lot lower price than what we put them on for so we can pocket that premium, right? We collected 23 bucks a contract and so again, we're in the neighborhood of doing maybe 12, maybe 13 contracts on that trade. And we cash it in, uh, buy it back in for five bucks a contract. That's an $18 per contract uh, profit. Uh, so again, we're in the neighborhood of knocking out a couple hundred bucks or 23% gain over four trading days. Notice at first it goes a little bit in our favor, then it pops against us, but it only got up to maybe at most about 416. 
if it got up to 420, we'd be a little more concerned and passing above 420, we're going to have to buy that back in if it gets going too much to the upside. Because we're betting, remember, neutral to down. Uh, and in this case, you see, we're able to stomach that little bit of adverse movement against us. If you buy options and you get a move against you, you're probably going to get stopped out a lot more quickly. And you're not going to be a happy camper like you are in this case where you made 23 percent. An option buyer probably gets faked out and loses on that trade that we made money on as a credit spread trader. How do we structure these credit spread trades? A quick look behind the scenes. What we'll do is we'll say, look, we're going to hold them uh, usually an average of about a week, anywhere from a few days up to 10 trading days. We're going to do about six to eight trades a month. We're going to target at least a 20% return up to about a 30% typical maximum profit. And so if we're putting on a $100 um one point spreads, a hundred dollars risk. Our net risk is going to be no more than eighty bucks on that spread because we're going to take in at least twenty bucks on that eighty risk. That's our twenty five percent return. If it's a two and a half point spread, then we would have a max risk of two hundred. We'd collect in at least fifty. We're back in that twenty five percent return on all these examples. So twenty five percent is kind of typically our lowest profit that we want to take on these trades as a potential max profit scenario. We might take them out early, like I said. But bottom line is that, okay, you look at that and say, how do we do this? We say, look, we, we fire out the entries and we tell you when to get out. If it's going to expire, we can collect our full credit, um, like the insurance company that collects your premium. It's like, okay, we'll tell you, you don't have to buy these back in. On those examples, you can actually just let them expire and actually you don't even have a commission on the back end. Another benefit of credit spreads that most of the time will work in your favor. 51 trades, 42 of them were profits for us, nine were losses over the that past year look back. Past performance doesn't guarantee future results, but the goal here, of course, is that, hey, even in a recessionary environment, you shouldn't be using that as an excuse to go to cash, go to the sidelines, do nothing. Doing nothing is especially problematic now because it's not just a recessionary environment, it's still an inflationary environment thanks to our too easy government and Fed having basically kept the spigot open way too long, trying to pump up the economy during the pandemic. And the reality is, of course, you know, we've been at a 9% inflation rate on the on the inflation data over the past months, recent months, 8 to 9%. So you say, look, in that case, sitting in cash is a loser of a strategy. You need strategies where you can hop in, cash, cash flow the markets with this credit spread strategy. And we give you two different ways to do it. Our index options timer with individual um, uh, ETFs like the SPY, the S&P 500, as well as the Russell 2000. We also do it with individual stocks with our credit spread trader program. So how do you take advantage of this? You go to the special page that we set up for you here, members.bigtrends.com forward slash income. Let's face it, everybody wants more income. Whether you're uh, rich or looking to be more rich, everybody wants to say, how can I add to my cash flow, to my income streams? That's what credit spreads do for me. Whether we're up, down, or sideways, credit spreads are a beautiful strategy to cash flow the markets. And I believe that you're missing out if you haven't put credit spreads to work in your portfolio. We'll teach you how to do it with a special offer here, members.bigtrends.com slash income. Go to that link, and what you'll see is you'll see this. By the way, when you go to that link, members, not www, but members.bigtrends.com slash income, you can always call our toll-free number. And if you can't remember, it's just 1-800-BIG-TRENDS. Or you can email us, clientcare at bigtrends.com. You'll see that it gives you an opportunity to take advantage of this special 12-month access. Usually it would cost you um, double this plus, but we're letting you take advantage of this. 12 months opportunity, just four ninety seven. dollars A couple of those good credit spread trades can essentially pay for your year. We'd expect to get you in the neighborhood of about 50 trades a year, about a trade a week, uh, so that you're seeing, okay, that any one of those trades effectively really is, is you're, you're getting your cost down per trade in the neighborhood of about 10 bucks a trade that we call out for you with the real-time emails, with the real-time text alerts, with the proactivity of guiding you through um, all kinds of market conditions. So make sure you go to that link, members.bigtrends.com slash income, or call our 800 Big Trends number. You can also email us, clientcare at bigtrends.com. We're here to help. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick overview on how to start profiting from recessionary times. If you've got any questions, call us at 800 Big Trends or email us, clientcare at bigtrends.com. Go to that link now, members.bigtrends.com slash income, and lock in that special more than half off value on the next year's access to great 
credit spread trades and the guidance we can give you through all kinds of market and economic conditions. Keep trading well and staying well. We'll see you next time. Take care.